Oh my god, what an amazing day. Start developing on Roblox Studio. And I know I have all the correct plugins, so I know. Let's go. Okay, let's start making a game. Well, I'm gonna go to Toolbox. Huh. A horror game house. Uh, this one. This hey, one. Hey, what, what are you doing? Mm, Wait a minute. Uh, this one. This one. Oh, I want this one too. Oh, I want a gaming chair. I want two gaming chairs. I want two gaming chairs. Oh this can't be god. possible. You gotta stop. Yes, I Bro, want you gotta stop. No, 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 no. You stop. You gotta stop. No. Oh, I don't no, know please. What that is. That please stop. You're making so many mistakes. Game kit. Game kit. Oh. I'm a bad horror game. Give me that computer. Ah, help me. Ah. I must delete all of this. Now I need to make a tutorial. I need to help people. I can't make people make so many mistakes. No. No. All right. Guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'll be showing the top Roblox Studio beginner mistakes that you should try to avoid if you want to succeed in the Roblox Studio uh? industry. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first mistake, and it's actually a really important one, is starting big projects that you will never actually finish. I see a lot of beginners actually making games that they're not going to be able to make, like... They're literally planning like huge projects, huge games that they won't be able to make because they haven't even made a game. They haven't made even made one game. Like. And I recommend you guys to actually learn the basics before starting to make a game and start by making small games instead of like, instead of already trying to plan out and make massive projects that you will never be able to finish because you're just going to end up with a thousand unfinished projects and instead of, and instead of actually making one game that might actually succeed, it could, it could have been just a simple obby. And maybe gotten like a million visits, who knows, maybe made you a million robots, but instead you have a thousand games that are unfinished and which is actually a pain and I do have and I did make this issue a lot and never actually finished any projects. Learn the basics and start with small projects first before moving on to big projects. Alright, that moves us on to the next mistake, which is overusing free models. I see a lot of beginners actually taking scripts from the toolbox and overusing a lot of free models and builds i mean don't get me started even i use free models from time to time like when you use texture packs or particles that you might not be able to make yourself and you don't have much time i mean it's not bad to use the toolbox but when you overuse the toolbox and don't really think about what you're taking it could get your it could lead to your game getting destroyed or something because especially if you don't understand scripts you won't understand what the scripts do and could potentially destroy your game all right, so the next game that I see a lot of beginners making is ma is making their game unclear. I mean, I've played a lot of beginners games where you don't really understand what to do. You just spawn in and there's, I don't know, a base game, like just a bunch of zombies and there's no clear gameplay to do, which doesn't make the game fun and usually leads to people leaving the game as soon as they join because they don't understand what to do. So it's important to make your game clear and make the gameplay simple and understandable so that people don't actually have to think because a lot of the Roblox, a lot of the Roblox player base is just six year olds who don't really understand, don't understand how to play. So it's important to keep it simple. All right. So the next mistake is no not checking capital letters or spelling mistakes or and also not using the output for errors i see a lot of people even on my channel a lot of people asking for help for the most simplest mistakes and i see a lot of people that just that say they have an issue and don't even read the output they don't even know what the output is and that just brings us back to what i said before you got to learn the basics usually the output clearly tells you what the error is for example it tells you that there's a missing bracket or something so it's important that we actually use this output so that we could debug instead of uh instead of spamming instead of spamming that you don't understand or something like that and also checking for any spell mistakes in your script before going ahead and asking for help all right and that moves us on to the last mistake which is not being subscribed to dev melon now nah. all right all right that was a joke guys the last mistake is giving up when making mistakes i see a lot of people who start roblox studio they're excited they have a big project or something they have a, a lot of ideas in mind and then they make a mistake and then they just they make a mistake or they have an error and they just give up and they don't come back to roblox studio or they don't come back to their game now this is really important whenever you make a mistake it's important that you understand it and that you don't give up instantly because that really won't get you anywhere but yeah guys if you did make a mistake if you did have an issue and you can't solve it yourself there are many places where you can ask for help for example my discord server where we have a community of people that can help you out in this and even i can help you out or for example dev forum or other roblox servers and communities where people can help you out with your scripts with your builds 
if you make a mistake but it's important that you don't that you don't give up when you make a mistake so those were some of the most important errors that i see that are very common and that i made and that i made myself which are important to avoid and are really helpful if you try to avoid them so that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching it and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye